Hello everyone, thanks for joining me again today. I'm at a local park in Lake Wales, Florida with my ham radio club. And we are here practicing setting up our portable stations. It's called a QRP event, where we come out and we run off of battery power and set up our portable antennas. You guys may recognize my uh, antenna right there from one of my other videos. And there's at least four or five radios here in operation. Look at this thing. Look at this guy here behind me on this tripod. So sit back and enjoy my video. All right, these guys are setting up what's called a bazooka antenna. And they're going to give it a try. This is Glenn set up and my dad's over there helping tying it to the tree over there. There's Ken in frame and he's going to be operating from under this shelter over here this is part of my antenna here going up up to my painter's pole you guys have seen that antenna before and the other wire goes over there to that stake or whatever the orange and then i have my my radio set up over here on the picnic table. Here's mine. Lots of activity today. This is Mike coming with his setup. He's running a Zygu G90 like my radio. His Antenna cable goes out to that orange stake right there. And then his antenna goes way up. We go out here. Right there, and it's going straight up to the top of that tree up there. There's a, you can barely see it up there. There's just like a pole sticking up up there through the tree. His wire is going straight up to the top of that. He's getting all kinds of reception over here. Looks like he's using parks on the air to hunt some operators out there. All right, so I'm here with John. He's come out to our QRP event today. What's your call sign, John? KF9JK. KF9JK, and he brought out his unique setup, and I really like it. Can you tell us a little bit about your, your setup and how you built this? Sure. For going portable? This is a uh, uh, Burley bicycle trailer that's used to house uh, two different radios. We've got uh, an ICOM 703 here. Uh, which is HF long range communication. Yeah. Uh, and then this is an ICOM 4100, which is uh, primarily a D Star radio, but it's also VHF and UHF analog. Um, so we have um, two uh, commonly uh, available JBL speakers here to provide audio for each radio. Okay, yeah, right here. Um, yes, sir. And then we have uh, this is the uh, main unit for the 4100 radio. Okay. Um, Inside this uh, electrician's pouch here, we have uh, a 12 volt uh, uh, battery that supplies both radios. And then there's also the, uh, the main unit for the ICOM uh, 703 that's also in there. Okay, um, this is an excellent setup. I like it a lot. Well, what's, what's convenient about it is it's portable. Um, I can take it anywhere. And uh, one other thing I'll point out here is this is the little hotspot, the little zoom spot for um, accessing uh, D Star. Oh, that's uh, cool. If we're not near a, a D Star repeater. Cool. Um, so then over here. Uh, okay, let's take a look at your antenna. So he's got his coax cable running out here yep. from his setup out to his antenna. And what kind of antenna are you running here? This is a very unusual one. This is. Um, uh, these are MFJ uh, ham sticks. Uh, yeah. I've got uh, uh, two of them are for 20 meters. The other two are for 40 meters. Okay. This is simply just a Manfrotto uh, camera tripod um, that I 
just did a little bit of modification to it to house antennas rather than cameras. Yeah. Um, so this here that you see is just nothing more than a half inch uh, steel conduit, uh, uh, conventional like a, uh, conduit box. Yeah, electrical box. Yeah, that's yep. pretty cool. And, uh, and so you're able to talk on two bands with this really easy. Right. Yeah, 20 and 40. That is pretty cool. Um, and I could actually put, if I had more hamsticks, I could put two more bands on there. That's cool. Um, yeah, I see the open spots there. Yeah, I just brought along the, uh, enough for two bands. Uh, it's a very unique setup, John. Thanks for coming out here today. Very good, thank you. Mm -hmm. You can see, I told you, you can put the like this one. So he quit. He came up here to watch the floor. He came to watch Bob, Bob and I Kilo November said, 4, said, Whiskey Golf me. Delta. I said, if they offer you to go to a four school, go to it. I said, I ain't gonna let you go home. I said, I know you're working off the good here in the cab, but I ain't gonna let you go home. Well, I'm back from the QRP event now, and uh, I had such a good time talking to my fellow hams and looking at the uh, different radio setups that I forgot to film the rest of the video. And I only actually made one contact in, uh, to a station in Arkansas in, in a Parks on the Air uh, location. So uh, it was a good day. We had with the Lake Wales Amateur Radio Club, we had probably 15 people out there and five different radios and five different type of HF antennas. And and uh, it was a good time of just hanging out and and uh, talking about uh, radios and, and setups and and drinking a little bit of coffee for some of so anyways that's the end of my video this is so we'll uh, catch you next time thanks for watching and we hope to see you out there soon